Learning more about the deadly pedestrian bridge collapse in Florida, authorities say there are now six fatalities confirmed and at least nine people were injured. They also fear additional cars could be trapped in the rubble. Iowa News reporter Trangdale is live in the CBS3 News Center with the very latest. Trang, good morning. Hey, good morning, Rahel and Jim. Yes, Miami Dade police just gave those updates at the top of the five o'clock hour. They say investigators and crews will remain on scene throughout the day today to search for clues as to what caused this tragedy and to recover any other victims who may not have survived the collapse. Surveillance video shows the horrifying moment a pedestrian bridge collapsed near the campus of Florida International University in Miami around 1 30 Thursday afternoon. Susie Bermudez says she was about to cross under the bridge when it collapsed. The bridge was fine. I was sitting in front of it waiting for the light to change and I saw that it smashed a bunch of cars and there can't be anybody alive there. Eight cars were trapped beneath the rubble. Search and rescue crews worked through the night using dogs, sensitive listening devices and fiber optic cameras in the hopes of finding survivors. We're going to continue to search this pile until we're sure that there's no other survivors. Miami-Dade police confirmed the latest count this morning six people killed and 10 injured. As the delicate search in the wreckage of the bridge turns from rescue to recovery, those numbers could rise. They're saying at least because there is the possibility, the sad possibility, that under the concrete there may be additional vehicles. Crews had just moved the still under construction 950 ton bridge into place on Saturday. It was due to open to foot traffic next year. With a price tag of $14.2 million, it spanned almost 175 feet to connect FIU to the city of Sweetwater. Ironically, the bridge was built to make the area safer after a student was killed last year crossing the busy highway. CBS News has learned two of the firms that built the bridge, Munilla Construction Management and FIGG Bridge Group, have been accused of unsafe practices in the past, which resulted in worker injuries. There will be clearly be an investigation to find out exactly what happened and why this happened, and we will hold uh, anybody accountable if anything, uh, if anybody's done anything wrong. Meantime, Florida Senator Marco Rubio tweeted late last night that the cables suspending the bridge had loosened and workers were tightening them when the bridge collapsed. Workers on the scene also reported that the bridge was reportedly undergoing a stress test on Thursday. But for now, live from the News Center, I'm Trang Do, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Trang.